Sangora here with Tiago Aves, who's fighting April 19th at UFC in Orlando. Tiago, how was training camp going? Training camp has been really, really good, uh, very tough. You know, uh, every day here in the American Top Team, it's like a, a title fight. You know, we've got so many good guys. So uh, I feel very good. I'm a little tired, but I feel very confident for my fight. You've had such a rough two years. How are you feeling? You've had, what, four surgeries in two years? I'd have four surgeries in two years. I had two surgeries uh, in 2012 and another two surgeries in 2013. But, you know, it was a learning experience. Uh, I, I truly believe that was for the best. You know, at least I got everything out of the way. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm healthy. You know, I feel 100%. And I'm very excited for 2014. You must be anxious to get back into the octagon then. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, uh, when it's uh, it's something that you love is being taken away from you, you know, for such a long time, especially when it's uh, out of your hands. You know, there's nothing I could do but try to get better. And, uh, you know, uh, again, I'm just very excited, very blessed to, to be back. How do you think you match up stylistically with your opponent? He has a bit of, bit of a height advantage over you. Yeah, he he actually is pretty tall. He's uh, 6'3", you know, I think the tallest guy I ever fought. But, uh we have a lot of tall guys here in American Top Team, you know. Uh, we got the team Lanky, as we like to call. You know, the guys are all over six two, you know. And I've uh, been training with them, and I'm preparing myself. Ben Saunders as well has been helping me a lot for, to get ready for this fight. So uh, I don't think it'll be a problem. Are you excited to be fighting close to home then? Yeah, I think it's you know it's meant to be. It's a perfect comeback uh, right here in my backyard in Orlando. So uh, I'll, I'll have a lot of support, you know. And plus we have. Uh, six other guys you know actually five other guys uh fighting in that card so uh, it's a perfect comeback but when does american top team in coconut creek not have someone fighting on the card really yeah right uh you know in the last two years it just it became so huge since we we changed the policy for uh management and training feet for only five percent you know so if you want to have top quality training and the best management out there you know we're only charging five percent uh, instead of all the other camps out there, usually it's 10 for management, another 10 for training. So if you got talent, if you need a new camp, you know, come to us. We'll take care of you. What's the game plan then for the fight? Will you look to keep it standing up? you going to take it to the ground? Anything you can share with our viewers? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm going to try to finish the fight. You know, I either stand up on the ground, you know, I'm going to go for the kill. That's the way I fight. You know, I learned a lot from my last fight, and uh, I won't make the same mistake again, but I'm definitely going to go for the finish. Anything else you'd like to add? I just want to thank all my sponsors, you know, Jocko, Blue Grace, and Midway, uh, of course, American Top Team, all my family and fans that stood behind me this, you know, two years. And uh, I can't wait to come back and put on a show for you guys. Tiago Pitbull Avis, I wish you good luck, and we look forward to seeing you in April up in Orlando.